most powerful name in local news. Fox 5 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. And I'm Amanda Davis. Three city officials decide to give up the combined half million dollars of their expense accounts to help erase the red ink at Atlanta City Hall. But that is a small minority of the entire body. So what are the others doing with any extra expense account funds? Well, Fox News' Morse Diggs joins us now live with more on our top story tonight. Morse? Rush, you know, the city has had firings and furloughs during this budget crisis, but the city council members, they have a substantial surplus. Right now, the members are sitting on somewhere between a million and two million dollars in extra money. We're checking to see who is giving some of that money back. Spray painted AstroTurf green colored chairs, a 20 year old 12 inch television. You're looking at the office of one of Atlanta's most influential politicians, finance chairman of the city council, Howard Shook. Why should you care about the way his office looks? I don't travel, I don't put out newsletters, I don't refresh my office equipment, uh, I, don't, I don't spend the money on those kinds of things. So it added up to about $235,000 and change, uh, and I'm going to send it all back. With Atlanta in a budget crisis, several of the 16-person city council department have decided to give back substantial personal office funds to the general treasury. I applaud all the city council members, what all four of them, I believe, that uh, actually gave money back to Atlanta. But what about the others? Says taxpayer watchdog official Barbara Payne. She wonders why so much money was given to the city council department in the first place. Here's an accounting we got from the city finance department. Claire Muller turns back in 240,000 of her own office funds to the treasury. Howard Shook gave up just more than $235,000. Lisa Borders, the council president, turned back in $50,000. The city's situation, where it is, I decided it was not only the prudent thing to do, it was the right thing to do. Borders hopes to be Atlanta's next mayor. One of her chief rivals for the top spot is Councilwoman Mary Norwood. What I'm looking at is at the end, you know, as we get, as I get an accounting, any excess money I will certainly turn in. The idea of putting some money back in the pot, is it just symbolic or is there some real money here? Well. Take, for example, what we've seen with public safety. No, the council budgets won't fix the problem of the millions cut in police officer and firefighter salaries. But the officers, for example, have done without some smaller things that need to be fixed. For example, traffic control. They had to suspend that for a while because the city didn't have enough money to get their speed radar guns fixed. Police are already going through enough. Um, I think we've heard over the last few weeks what's going on there. But, uh, you know, I think the city council should be taking accountability and responsibility for all that money. Put that money back. It's our money anyway. So now who's that fourth council member we're talking about? That's Natalie Archibong. She's turned back in tens of thousands of dollars. That money has gone specifically to pay the salaries of some of the workers who would have been fired, people like code enforcement officers. Now, there is still some time. The budget will be over with in about... 10 days, and in that time, the council members can decide whether or not they're going to turn back some of their excess money. Reporting live from Atlanta City Hall, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. All right, Morse, thank you very much.